Hi guys, um, it's Janet. I know I put up a video probably a couple hours ago, and now I'm going to post another one. You guys are probably going to go, go away. <laughs> but I wanted to share with everybody um, some a decision that my husband and I have come to um, in terms of YouTube. <sighs> Sorry, and recording our TTC journey. Um, we have decided that I am going to, because originally I was going to keep part of it private, and actually be teaching thing and sharing it with only a couple people, and we decided that we're going to share it with everybody. So, so the few of you guys that have gotten the ones with the links, don't worry about them anymore. <laughs> um... So, anyways, we will be TTing things. So, this will be probably labeled TTC Vlog. I want to say I left you guys off on Vlog 4. Well, actually, be 5. This will be 5. Um, these ones are going to be done. a series of basically as soon as my number my HTC level gets to zero then the OPKs then the um, the first week of being done with um, the two week wait and then the pregnancy test Um, that will be how it will work. So, with this being the vlog five, first one of this cycle, we have no idea what cycle day I'm on. Because some things, some people would say it's count from the year DNC, which would make me, I am cycle day eight. Some people say you can't count your cycle until <coughs> sorry, till you hit zero, which then I'm not even on a cycle day yet. Um, some people would actually say to count from when I started my Hermia <sighs> bleeding, which would make me one, two, three, four, so cycle day four. So cycle days, so I could either be cycle day eight, day four, or not even there yet. So that's what that is. All right, so then you guys are probably going, then what the heck's the plan? <laughs> um, we bought some very cheap, like I had shown yesterday, the very cheap pregnancy tests. They um, first detected at 25. So... With that being said, oh, for anybody that doesn't know, it typically is out of your urine first before it's out of your blood. Just so everybody knows. Um, so we're as a blood, I mean a urine test. I more than likely will be negative by next week. Blood-wise, maybe not. Or at least I will be negative for pregnancy because um, it's typically 25 is what they consider pregnant. Um, but my doctor's office, it's actually, they don't count you pregnant until you're 100. Yeah. So... So sorry, I'm very tired. So the plan is I will be taking another um, cheap pregnancy test on uh, Sunday, Sunday morning, and then I'm taking it Tuesday, and then I'm going to take one no, I'm sorry, I lied. 
sorry, I lied. I am taking one Saturday, pregnancy test Saturday, then Monday, then Wednesday, then I have my blood test on Thursday, and then from there we'll decide what's going on. We bought um, some, I don't want to say cheap OPKs, but they're not, I, too, I like using the uh, clear blue digital OPKs. The thoughts are is I'm going to continue to test um, using the OPKs daily because um, I, I know they're positive right now, but uh, the test lines are starting to get lighter now. Um, I will know um, when those go negative and when the pregnancy tests go negative. Then from there, um, as soon as the OPKs turn negative with the cheap ones, I'm going to stick with them um, until I think I see about a second line, and then I'm going to test with the uh, clear blue digital. Then from when the um, home pregnancy test turns negative, I'm counting three. Um, No, four weeks from that, and that will be when I will test for pregnancy. So that's the plan. I can't give you guys dates on when I'm going to test because I don't even know them. So that's the plan. Um, and again, you know, I, I'm sorry if I hurt anybody's feelings by not including you in the private TTCing. Um, it just I thought it would be better because, it, like my husband said, just it's easier to delete the people that are butts. Because there's there's been a couple of people that have private messaged me saying that, you know, they doubt that I was even pregnant because I wasn't very emotional in all the videos. What you guys didn't see was that some of those were like the eighth time me recording it because I become a blubbering idiot. Yeah. So, yes, that's why I seemed very, I, I came off very calm and relaxed because it took about nine or ten, uh, nine, or ten takes to get it perfect. So, yeah, it's just easier to block those type of people. And I will keep the people that, you know, continue to give some loving support and then yeah but then I also wanted to um, just kind of put this out there to all moms that have um, suffered a miscarriage um, some of you guys might be aware that I um, can't remember her name but that, but that doesn't really matter necessarily as much as it, as it matters that once you've had a loss and if you feel hopeless, please reach out for help. You know, suicide is not the answer because I don't even know where I read it, but it was that suicide doesn't um, get rid of the pain, it passes it on. And it's very true. So if you've suffered a miscarriage and you feel hopeless, depressed, don't hesitate to call a friend. Tell them that you feel that way. Call a parent. Call anybody. But taking your life is not the answer. So, so yeah, anybody that has, you know, or no, and if you know somebody that's just suffered a loss, kind of keep your eye on them and just kind of, kind of watch them. So that's my PSA for the day. So thank you for watching. Bye.